what's up what's up another simple cooking tutorial today or cooking idea and I'll show you guys what I'm doing today and here it is what I'm doing today I have chicken breast here and this is going to be a stove uh, I'm going to bake it in the oven not stove that so what I have here is minced garlic just mix it with my um, chicken breast this is the adobo seasoning you can buy it in an Asian store this is just oil this one here is a barbecue chicken seasoning this one here is the Italian style breadcrumbs so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to mix all of them to my ingredient to my chicken breast and then we're going to bake it again the adobo seasoning you can buy it in any Asian store or any big store here in Canada there we go it's nicely mixed so what we're going to do next is we are just going to put this into our cookie sheet here and then we're just going to put this flat like that And then this is ready to be baked. I'm just waiting for my uh, oven here to get the heat to 400 Fahrenheit. So we'll just wait for our oven. Okay guys, this is just a very simple cooking idea here or cooking tutorial. There's only six ingredients to it and it's very easy to make because you just throw it in the oven and you can do something else, whatever you want to do. And this one here, it tastes really, really good. So I recommend you guys to try it. If When you see this video and just do what I do, how to make it. Right, our oven is ready for 400 Fahrenheit so chicken breast is not hard to cook it's very easy to cook but I started 30 minutes to cook it and then we'll check after that so what I have what I'm having with my chicken, I have uh, carrots here. That's what I'm going to have with the chicken when it's all baked. And I'm going to show you guys next time how I cook my carrots. A little bit of salt and that's it. All right, it's been in the oven for 25 minutes. 
and let's check the temperature. So the cook chicken, the temperature is 165 Fahrenheit. So let's measure it. Let's do it the thickest one. It has to be 165 or up. That's the safest that you can eat your chicken breast. If it's less than that, you need to cook it more. All right, as of now, it is only 157. So I have to put this back to continue cooking. All right, it's been 30 minutes. Let's check it again. So the only reason that I check my chicken breast when it was 25 minutes after because you just want to make sure because chicken breast from 20 to 30 minutes cooking and you don't want to over overcook it. So anyway, I'm going to check it again, see if it's cooked now. Again, you always pick the thickest one or maybe this is the one here. This is the thickest one here. Safest for you to eat your chicken breast is 165 Fahrenheit. We'll see where we are now. So right now we're sitting 161. So again, it's not cooked yet, so I'm going to put this back in the oven because my oven is um might not be running hot today but again it's um i'm yeah i'm only 162 so i have to put it back all right let's check it again So again, you check the thickest one. It looks like this is ready. As you can see, it's still going. There we go, as you can see it's 165, so that's safe to eat. So another thing to, to check it, if you don't have the temperature gun, just cut it in the middle of it, the thickest one, and you take a look. So it's ready, it's nice and juicy. Anyway, now you see how I did my chicken breast, oven baked, only six ingredients to it. So if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, Do you know the Filipino vlogger, there's more cooking to come. Next thing that I'm going to do is how I cook my carrots.